In our discussion on electromagnetic radiation, we basically said that visible light is one form of electromagnetic radiation that has a specific range of values for the frequency and the wavelength. Now, in order to study the properties, the behavior and movement of visible light, we have to make certain assumptions about light. So, the ray model of visible light assumes that light travels in straight lines, in straight pathways, known as light rays. Now, the study of movement of light in the form of light rays is known as ray optics, or simply geometric optics. Now, whenever visible light, or simply light, strike the, strikes the surface of an object, one of three three things can take place. The light can either reflect off of that surface, it can be absorbed by the molecules inside that surface, or the light can be transmitted through that surface. So let's suppose light is traveling and it hits the surface of glass. So because glass is essentially transparent, some of that light will be reflected, some of that light will be absorbed, and some of that light will be transmitted through glass. Now in this lecture, we're going to focus primarily on the reflection of light off of surfaces, and we're going to look at the law of reflection. So. When a ray of visible light hits a flat, shiny surface and is reflected, we define the angle of incidence as the angle that the incoming or incident ray makes with respect to the normal line that is perpendicular with respect to the surface. And we define the angle of reflection as the angle that the outgoing or reflected ray makes with respect to the normal line. So let's examine the following diagram. Let's suppose this brown region is our shiny surface and this is our incoming light ray also known as the incident ray. So the incident ray will travel, will eventually hit the surface and will reflect off of that surface and this reflected ray is shown as the following arrow. So we have the orange arrow coming in and the orange arrow coming out. Now this dashed line represents our normal line. It's the line that is perpendicular to the surface of our object. So this angle is known as the angle of incidence and this angle is known as the angle of reflection or the reflected angle. Now let's discuss a law known as the law of reflection. So the, uh, the law of reflection essentially states that any time light reflects off of a flat surface, the angle of incidence will equal to the angle of reflection. So these two angles will be equal. Now if we assume this is a flat surface and these two angles are equal, that basically implies that this angle is also equal to this angle. Because the sum of these angles is equal to 90 degrees because this line is perpendicular to the surface. So. Let's look at the following example that will essentially apply the law of reflection. Let's suppose two shiny surfaces, let's say mirrors, are placed perpendicularly with respect to one another as shown in the following diagram. So this bl uh, brown line is surface number one and this line is surface number two. And these lines are perpendicular with respect to one another as shown by the following perpendicular symbol. Now a very narrow beam of light, a light ray, is traveling and hits surface number one with an angle of 20 degrees as shown in the following diagram. So we want to find the angle that the light ray makes with respect to the surface of the second object. So we want to find this angle here. So 
To solve this example, we're going to apply the law of reflection. In other words, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection, which also means these two angles are equal. So because these two angles are equal, this is our incoming ray, this is our reflected ray, these two angles will be 20 degrees. So this is 20 degrees and this is 20 degrees. Now because this is not 90 degrees and because this is a right triangle this angle will be 70 degrees so this first reflected ray will essentially be the second incoming ray that will hit the second surface at an angle of 70 degrees and that implies this outgoing ray or this uh, reflected ray will also reflect with an angle of 70 degrees so this is 70 and this will be also 70 so that implies our answer the angle must be 70 degrees so we can can see that the law of reflection is a very useful law because it helps us calculate the different geometric angles that our propagating uh, light ray makes when it hits various surfaces, various flat surfaces.